last challenge will be besting the Batlift champion. Woohoo! Where is Can he? Can you handle that challenge? What's he look like? Ah. What's he look like? Ah. Is he cute? Is, it cute? is she here? <laughs> <laughs> well spoken, Cardassian. Well, if you are brave enough, you may answer. as well. One of the things we have to do is set up teams. We have odd number. So it looks like we will need two teams to be set up for these challenges. We also will have the River of Pain as was mentioned. Some of you will be going through the Nentai today. Those who have never really gone before and some who may want to reaffirm their <laughs> ascension. Kathy wants to go? <laughs> I see her giggling. I know. <laughs> also added, for the female warriors, they want to see which warrior is the best at Parmok. <laughs> they will be given 10 minutes to create poetry, and they will recite their poetry to the women who will throw objects at them. Yay! And we will see who is the best. Do we have objects? We do. Yes, we do have objects. <laughs> if you did not bring your own objects, we did bring objects for you to throw. Did we have dishes? <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready for these competitions? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Aye, aye. Your team will lose. <laughs> Don't be on my team. Go over there. You will be the loser team, I can tell right now. I need two captains. <laughs> There. You're going down, buddy. Now, <laughs> you will face this crowd and you will choose your team oh, one at a time. Maybe be the fat kids. Maybe be the fat kids. I always laugh. I know. Come down to a girl with me. I want Ben. I'm going to conflict you. I want you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you can take it first. You can take it first. Take it first. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. Team Josh. <laughs> <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> that was a great reaching your decision. Team Josh. You did let her go first. Yeah, now you better get her. Sylvia. Right. Oh, your husband's on the other team. Sorry. Conflict. Um, how about the Kardashians? All right. Oh, I don't play. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing either. Are you guys available? We're the judges. We're the judges. judges. <laughs> you got Amanda? We'll I'm the photographer, so. <laughs> we'll go with the young ones. Team Young. Good excuse. Go. <laughs> I am. What about it, it must be nice to see how young again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Zim. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. you I couldn't remember the name of which one of you did the rope in? Well, it's my family. I said I'd be the fat kid. You're not the fat kid! Who no wanted me? We want you! I tried to bribe him. You know what? what? You're the only couple they that's not broken up. Well yeah. My fiance is on the To start this off, we will do our first challenge. You're on the dark side. Don't join the dark side. Dark side. Hey, we have six no. minutes. What? This isn't even. We have seven minutes. We don't need six minutes. 
a purple yeah, globe. Take that kid. All right. The galaxy's on the Orion belt. I was. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna move you over here. No. Okay. This team right over here. Hold up. Right here. This team stay right here. Oh, I remember that. That one. We'll just chill. Yeah. The better <laughs> team will go in. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's got the ball now. <laughs> 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 I don't know who's running after him. <laughs> 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 The rules. <laughs> we weren't given any rules. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we're supposed to stay around him in the circle. He yeah. took off. The circle moved. <laughs> 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 changed the rules. You lost. Were they able to move anywhere though? Yes, they no, were able they were to circle. To go yeah, you could have you. told us before we sprinted a quarter mile. <laughs> 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 you guys ran too fast. Yeah, we were giving it a rule. But they never formed a circle, they just came. They yeah, they came, came in a mall. Something for the pocket around. That's the time. We weren't explaining that part. I yeah. thought it was funny yeah, when we Marty got the ball. We didn't know that they had free reign. Right? Right? I think it was fun. I had some strategy there. I got a bunch of butt on them. Get your butt on them. All right, now it's your chance. Somebody fight! You just have to circle around now. Tied with the exception of the fact that the original team cheated. 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 <laughs> the ship has been everywhere. So, the object of course, similar to Earther's baseball, you have a pitcher, a batter, a catcher, and the rest are outfield. The pitcher will be tossing the fish to you. The batter will hit it. It has to go, it has to at least make it to the outfield, and the outfielder has to catch it to make any points. And now, Katora will let you choose your fish. He will go to the first person and they will tap his hand and that will be the color you would get. He's switching. <laughs> How many times do you have to hear it? Are you that dense? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should take it back. Enjoy that one. You get two. So I guess that leaves you with this. Yay, green. Woo! Right. So one team right over here so we don't overlap, and the other team right there. Choose your batter, pitcher, catcher, and outfield. Oh, no. I saw it. I Okay, are there specific rules before we start apparently cheating? 
Uh, well, you're going to cheat anyway. Yeah, can we change batters? Can we change pitchers? Yeah. All that? We have a pitcher or seven in, seven in getting stretch. I get, I'll catch. If they tie because you haven't caught a fish, we're, we're yes, you can switch out the catch. We have to catch the fish. You have to catch the fish. Can I catch the fish? Um, I like to be the outfield. Well, so I catch pitch and then I run out? No, nope. you're outfield. He's right there. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm not going to run, so I'll be right there. Yeah. Grab the middle if you have a catcher, too. Yeah, the pitcher and the catcher have one. That's why. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start out. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. How do they catch one? They're all under him. Be <laughs> amazed. <laughs> Be very amazed. Oh! Oh! We get it. Have one so far. No, the the I know. The pitcher. <laughs> Flying fish. Sorry. Here you go. We don't worry about it. Heads up. Heads up, Cardassian. <laughs> <laughs> Their son is like right there. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Team has already caught one fish.
say with one hand. Can we line up our order? Mm -hmm. You can line up your order because once the person loses on one side, two more people will come up. So with that, and with that way, everybody will have a chance to participate. So team captains, pick your first person. Making a good door. Who's going first on their team? No. That's all right. I'll just go up and move them. We'd like to show you this event because the tour is in the way. She's trying to film it. Isn't it even? You want to get a judge? Because I'm not going against somebody who doesn't know how to head on. Rush and Boeing. I think whoever's ahead on points should go first. Yeah, actually, you know what? There you go. Winner of points go. goes first. Yes. Hmm? Choose your champion. Okay, Ben, you go first. Oh, jeez. You want to see it? You can do it. You can do it. He wants to see the game. He's a little nervous. Ben is? Yes. Okay, let's go, Ben, step up. I guess I'll go. Go, first. Just go, Kate, go. Kate's going first. Go, Kate, go. Wait. 
They're too sexy. They're too busy being sexy to cheer. You can't have that one. Yes, we can. We called it copyrighted. Wait a minute. Let me see that cheer again. That cheer is very valid. The whole team. The whole team. I want to see it. Okay, a whole team. Wait, call it your genitalia then. Ready, go! <laughs> to be a man hey. or woman, you must have honor, honor, and a penis. They don't have penises. I said women. I said penises were vagina. They don't have penises. I said vagina, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I said your genitalia. Hey, okay, honor and a banana. That's okay, that's okay because no, it's a family oh, yeah. job. Honor and a banana. 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 Yeah. banana. 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 You got it. You got it. All right, fine, you got it. You got it. Well, let's see your cheer. Go. No. Yellow curve. No, no. When they win, they can do it. You cheer. Be a man or a woman, you must have. Dead center in the forehead seemed to work. Can't run faster than that, Josh. Whoa! That's one way of taking him out. Are you okay, Josh? That was melee. I'm always like, yeah! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, fine. began scanning it and it teleported something into my ship. I turned around and there was a very large plasma worm, seven foot by three feet around. So I took out my dark tar in close quarters to try and ta fight with it. Yes. And I damaged it a little bit and part of the plasma had come out onto the floor started burning a hole in the floor. So I knew I could not cut it to kill it that way. So I grabbed my bat lift and started pummeling it reverse. And I had to keep hitting it until it finally died without cutting myself or it. And now this maneuver is called the counter parry attack, otherwise known as a CPA and taught in all of the Klingon Military schools. Woohoo! <laughs> am I going this way? Am I going which way? Do Alright, guys, so this is a, a true story of thievery that took place in uh, about 1994. Um, I left with my uh, family to go and visit um, some people in India. My, uh, my dad's family was over there. And so um, we're, we're driving through and uh, we come up to this neighborhood. And um, for those of you that know, don't know, India is broken down into 15 different regions. Each one is able to choose their own politics, their government, and their religion. This particular neighborhood that we were coming through was a communist neighborhood. And as we're coming through, I see a whole bunch of like communist flags up. And the, what I'm thinking is, what can I get my friends back home as a souvenir gift? And I'm seeing these flags and I'm thinking, it would be really cool to steal one of them, to take them back home to my friends, and then give them to them for a gift. So we're coming back and the next morning I wake up and I'm about to head out. The person that it was put in my charge was my cousin named Butu. And I tell him I'm going back to the communist neighborhood to try and steal the flag. And he takes one look at me and goes, oh, no, 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 no. You're going to get in big trouble. Um, let me come with you and uh, go along with you just to make sure you're safe. Because um, you're, you're definitely stand out of more jeans and a t-shirt and then totally stand out. Don't speak a lick of um, Indian language. So he takes me over there. We're going into the 
center of the city and there's three buildings. Each one's uh, in the shape of a different letter. You got CMI, which stands for Communist Military Party of India. And we come into the big stage. There's a guy that's uh, kind of giving a little speech and I see everybody in the audience has a stick and a rock in their hand or one a variation of both. And uh, none of them look happy. Okay, and then around the corner comes this large black paddy wagon, kind of like right straight out of an Al Capone movie. And then the police hop out and then they start breaking up the crowd. We go running back as fast as we can. We're jumping over fences, all this stuff, to get back home. And I'm trying to snatch a flag on the way back. And he goes, what are you going to do with it? And I go, I'm going to shove it in my pants. He goes, no, 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 this is a bad idea. So we finally get back home. I'm totally disappointed. I wanted to get that flag. So the next night we're coming back and we're actually coming through the main city. Okay, and you know the islands in the middle of the road. This is where I see the most beautiful communist flags I've ever seen in my life. Bamboo poles, beautiful red flag, personally painted on there, wrapped in a wrapped in these ropes around the center of the island. So we pull up to it, and in that day, it's 1994, every single car in India is a, either a white or black ambassador. That's all that you had as far as the choice, as far as the car goes. So we pull up to the side, and the driver hands me out of his, uh, the, driver, or the, the glove box a, a switchblade. He just hands it back to me. So I roll down the window, and I'm cutting away at the rope. We get into the car, and no sooner had we done that, because this, this is the, during the time of their uh, big convention, a white ambassador pulls in front of us, a white ambassador pulls in back of us, and we're totally cornered in in the middle of uh, traffic. And so uh, these guys all just come swarming out. And they start beating our car with sticks and all this stuff and just really uh, giving the driver a hard time. And um, since this is not a, they don't have electric windows or doors, they're able to just push those windows down and they're beating on me. So I surrender the flag. I give it up. My sister is yelling and raging at me and saying, why did you ever let this happen? And I'm apologetic. And my, uh, my cousin turns around and he goes, you know they can cut off three fingers for that. And I go, this information would have been great to know about ten minutes ago. <laughs> so uh, they finally they let us go after talking to us, give us a stern warning. They drive away. We drive back home. I'm totally defeated. I give up on the idea completely. What I didn't tell you guys is this is on Christmas Eve. Okay, next morning comes around. It's Christmas Day. There's a knock at the door. It's the driver. He hands me this big parcel package. doesn't speak uh, any English. And I ask the, uh, the maid and um, my cousin to translate. And he says, um, I open it up. And there's six of the most beautiful communist blacks, the ones that I was trying to get. And I said, what's going on? And the driver says, he was so upset about being beat up last night, he decided to give this to you as a Christmas gift. He went back and stole six blacks. And there you go. So I had friends, and I had a, a gift for not only one of my friends, but all six. So it was really awesome. Wow. Yeah. Some of us do. It's the proper way to vanquish your enemy. In the days that I worked for the Orion Syndicate, after the Dominion War, we found a pocket of Jem'Hadar who'd hold themselves up on an asteroid. Now my boss, Ludo, the bastard, wanted to send in a cadre of killers to try to take them out. But I knew exactly what to do. And they sent me in. And I found the Vorta, who was arrogant and quite secure in his immortality as they all are but he didn't think that for very long after i'd drawn a blade across his throat now the vorta control the white without the white the jemhadar went into a frenzy and slaughtered each other and that was how i killed 12 jemhadar by slitting one throat <laughs> Grab the science officer. My money's like Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there I was. Security officer on the Bird of Prey that I served with for two years. During the Dominion War, we were making a raid on a Jem'Hadar station. Unfortunately, we were defeated. But our ship was not destroyed. We crash landed on a planet that happened to have a Bajoran settlement. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. We crash landed. <laughs> whoa. We crash landed about three kilometers from the Bajoran settlement. I was ambushed <laughs> by five Jem Hadar. My two comrades went down quickly. As they were just new recruits, didn't have any prior experience. So I took on the other three that were left after my two comrades had barely managed to kill one apiece. The first Gemini I go up to, kill him very quickly.
standing about that far away from me. I take my blade, ah, <laughs> shove it up into a yeah, street. kill him. <laughs> the blade stuck, I couldn't take it out. So what did I do? I took the mechle off of my back, went up to the second gem hadar. Ha, ah, cut him right there in the stomach. And then right up the neck, he was done. The third gem hadar managed to pick up the bad left that one of those damn recruits was wearing. You couldn't fight with one. Demodar picked it up, and I said, What are you doing wielding a bat left? You have no knowledge of this weapon. I dispatched him quickly. Take my mind, my trading. Came up to him across like this. Again, like this. Hey, he's not on their team. That's Stood back a little bit thinking about what the Demodar might do next. He was scared. He hadn't had his bike in a while. <laughs> I could see his eyes bulging <laughs> like he was ready to die. They came at him again. Ah! 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 He was not vanquished yet. But then I surprised him. Oh, that's up! And again! Ah! As he was on the ground, his head clean off of him. Yes! Gemhadar single-handedly. You can't use that word. Single-handedly. And that is my story. Oh, oh, God. 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 Oh, she killed was 12 uh, Gemhadar with only had one throat. <laughs> we will break from break for lunch, and we'll come back and continue the competition after lunch. You'll have to speak yeah. loudly. This is our judge for the story. You will have to speak loudly. <laughs> and I am only going to say this one time. <laughs> Show respect. <laughs> well, they should be out of now. Bye! This was him? There I was! With the sun at my back! So I turned around and I slit his throat! warrior and he comes to me with a busted hand <laughs> he comes to me with a busted hand and tells me that what he could do in years past he cannot do anymore he tells me that what he tried to do was to break a board in half crazy old man I know this man, and he would not try this without achieving some success. So I asked him to see the board. If you look at the board, you will see that there are lines in the center of the board that this man created. It's a true story. It is a true story. So I said to the old man, old man, where did you hit this board? He said in the middle. I said, no, on the ground. And he said, no, on a tire. 
the tire was flat. There was no way that this board would have had any opportunity to split in half appropriately. So he, he says, you're right. And he sets the board up on two pieces of wood so that he can do it again. He's already broken his hand. And he goes and he prepares and he meditates. What are you trying to kill him? Yes. And then he says, and then he says, not today. So I said, okay, fine. We walk away ah, five, ten feet. Now. And then at the last second, he turns around and yeah. he breaks the board in half. The man of which I speak of is, is uh, 73 years old. And this is a true story. The point is, the moral of the story is, it's just because you think things aren't going right doesn't mean you're getting old. Look at me now! <laughs> <laughs> Klingons do not age. Aging is inactivity. Thank you. <laughs>